Across the country, there are areas we call food deserts, places where people have no access to healthy food. You see a lot of this in inner cities and in the rural parts of the country. It's a real problem that can lead to a myriad of health issues in a population. But about 20 years ago, in the city of Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Will Allen started an urban farm on an acre of land that has turned into a food revolution. With the idea of bringing fresh food to everyone, Will has led a movement that helped create new urban farmers across the country. One of the farms he helped inspire is just across town in an old warehouse. We are at Sweetwater Organics uh, Fish Vegetable Farm in uh, Bayview, Milwaukee. Uh, my name is James Godsill. I am uh, one of the uh, co-founders and uh, partners in this uh, experiment. Sweetwater is a very different type of farm. The factory building it's housed in is a throwback from an earlier time. But the farm inside is something from the future. With rows and rows of leafy greens and trenches filled with fish and water, it's a very unique place. I guess this is how Mother Nature must operate. We're mimicking Mother Nature, uh, certainly imperfectly and in halting steps. And uh, food, for me, is the easiest way to bring people of different identity groups uh, to the same table. The setup that Jim and the staff of Sweetwater have created is pretty impressive. About four and a half feet off the ground is a table of sort where plants are grown. They're under lamps for heat and spaced out perfectly with soil around the roots and water flowing around that soil. Now the water drains under the table into a trench filled with fish. The fish live in those trenches and their waste will be used as fertilizer to the plants. So the water with the waste along with some added bacteria is pumped back up into the plant area. In turn, the plants act as a filter cleaning the water which then returns to the fish. Aquaponics uh, combines uh, the concept aquaculture and hydroponics which is the term we use to talk about raising plants with water. If you're ever sad, uh, feed fish. They're like little puppies wagging tails, except you've got 5,000 wagging tails. We've got 45,000 tilapia right now. There's a couple hundred of our original 5,000 perch in the tank, and then I guess the plan calls for 100,000 fish by the middle of uh, 2011. And uh, we have hundreds, if not thousands, of, of plants. We have restaurants and grocery stores now uh, buying our product. The lettuce is surely the finest lettuce I've eaten in my life, and the fish are as good as any fish I've ever had, um, so it must be working. Every day, Jim goes to a large grocery store. Hey, Jim picks up a truckload of discarded organic materials like fruits, veggies, eggshells. Bananas, my worms love bananas. I always uh, save bananas for a special treat for them. All of this for his enormous composting project, a self-described worm man. Jim mixes these materials with wood chips and a growing worm population to make the rich soil he calls black gold, an essential part of Sweetwater's aquaponic system. That's it. From urban wastes come worms, from worms come fish, from fish come plants. Yes, eggshells! Right. Plants and fish to the people in a kind of a, a loop. Five years ago, I set about to begin growing soil. Uh, Will taught me how to, to do that. I met Will Allen's Growing Power, and Will says, it's not how green your thumb is, it's how fertile is your soil. 